Welcome to Powerboat Television. I'm Steve Bull, and welcome to beautiful Hay River in the Northwest Territories. And where exactly is Hay River? Well, it's up north. Way, way, way up in northern Canada. Even fighting a healthy current on our upriver run, we were still rocking along at 30 miles per hour. Now, a lot of people, when they think of boating in the Northwest Territories, assume fishing. And yes, fishing is huge here. I'm here with Spencer Pike of Two Seasons. Thanks for having us, Pike. Thanks for coming. And this jet boat tour, you're telling me that this is your most popular tour, even including the fishing ones? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. Right on. And why is this? Because it's pretty unique. It's pretty unique. It's uh, fun for like the whole family. Just go out, go for a ride, and you get to see the falls from a different view that only few people get to see. And the river's pretty wide, but as we're coming along here, I'm seeing a bunch of rocks and things. So, yeah. like, this is a pretty treacherous path, right? Like, if you tow your boat up here, don't do 30 miles an hour up this river. <laughs> Gotta know how to read the river for sure. <laughs> Unless you want to meet one of the boat mechanics. Pretty wide, but it's, it's really shallow. Yeah. There's a pretty good current, like, where, you know, we got the power to rip along it. Yeah. This is a 2013 Brat Jet Boat. Uh, it's got a 6-liter Chevy fuel-injected motor in it with a Hamilton 212 pump. Jet boats are the only way to go on this stretch of the river because certain sections are only a few inches deep. There are rocks everywhere, and our guide on this trip was no stranger to the area. How long have you been doing it? As a company, about five, six years. Probably been coming up here for the last roughly 10 years. So you know where to go? Yeah. Took cool. a few boats to wreck, but yeah, <laughs> we got her down pat now. <laughs> cool. All right, I will not ask to drive. <laughs> the entire run to the falls takes about 45 minutes, and at 30 miles per hour with all those rocks, this is not for the amateur to attempt. Sweet. So this is the beach, eh? This is the beach, man. Only accessible by jet boat? Only jet boat, yeah. <clears throat> when the water's at the right height. Right now, it's not too high, not too low, perfect. No one can bother you here. <laughs> when we stopped at the beach, I had a chance to really soak up the scenery. It was then that I realized how beautiful this part of the country really is. It takes a special kind of boat to get you here. That back there is a sand trap. And what it does is from the intake line from the pump that would come up to your heat exchanger, it'll trap the sand in that glass container before it comes into this and plugs this up on you. Whenever it's full like it is now, you would dump the valve and then start your engine and it'll flush all the sand out. We headed back out on the river towards our final destination, Louise Falls. So this is a cool spot. Big high cliffs, it's narrowed down. Would you say this is the Escalades? This is the Escalades, yeah. What are we gonna be going through up here? It looks pretty narrow and a little bumpy. This part of the river, yeah, narrows right down. It's still deep water, but there's lots of big rocks and fast moving water, of course, and we're gonna dodge around the rocks and get through there. We're pretty close to Louise Falls right now, so just gotta get through this little obstacle and we're there. Some of the best scenery. Some of the most challenging water. Is this like the most fun section of the river? This is my favorite part of the river, right yeah. here. Yeah. All right, cool. Punch it. Making a mistake anywhere along the river would be a problem, as you're out in the wilderness, and much of it is high cliffs, so there's no shore access. In total, the trip up river was close to 45 minutes, and I enjoyed every minute of that. There she is, Louise Falls. It's pretty big. It's not bad size, yeah. It probably doesn't like do it justice on TV, mm. but like when you're here, you get a sense of like the power of the water. Eh? Like, oh it's, yeah. That's a lot of water moving. Way up there's the viewing platform. Yeah. But there's no way to safely 
get down here other than by boat, right? So you're Pretty not getting this view of the falls other than... You won't get this view. The only way is by jet boat. Yeah. And so you're saying when the water flow is lower, yeah. it doesn't come over kind of the middle of it? Yeah, it doesn't come over that center peak, and then you can boat right up to the falls and walk underneath them. No way. Yeah, the only way to do that is by coming up with a jet boat. This is cool. Saying goodbye to the falls was a difficult thing to do, but getting to do that whole rip down the river again was a blast. What took 45 minutes heading upstream took only 30 minutes downstream. We capped off the night with a fish fry at Two Seasons Beach on the shores of Great Slave Lake, thanks to the Pike family. There's some beautiful whitefish fillets, tempura batter. Nice big Great Slave Lake whitefish fillets. Watching the slow dip of the sun is a must because at this time of year, it's only under the horizon for a few hours and it never fully gets dark. When we come back, it's open water and then open season on some northern pike. Oh, no! <laughs> Welcome back to Hay River in the spectacular Northwest Territories. Since we're in the land in the midnight sun, a round of daylight golf at Hay River's course seemed like a good thing to do at 10 p.m. And the next morning, we geared up for a day of fishing. Oh, hey, Dean. Hey, guys, how's it going? Good. Dean, this is uh, Steve. Oh, the Dean. How, How are you, you buddy? Not bad, not hey, bad. This is the reason we're here. An email <laughs> from Dean said, you got to check out the Northwest Territories, and I said, Okay. There we go. <laughs> so there if you want go. us to check out your area, email us. There we go. How you doing, buddy? Not bad. How's he been treating you? Ah, oh, he's all right. <laughs> okay, so it's a little more complex than that, but this region clearly is for boat lovers. And it's true, it did all start with him. And apparently, word's gotten around that I love the license plates up here. There you go. A few oh. uh, trinkets there from the territories. Oh. What? Yeah, the coolest license plates in the world. There we go. But enough trinkets, back to Turin. So we cast off from the docks and head back onto Hay River for one final spin. Floating along the river, where we saw some land-based anglers going for it, didn't take long to get a bite. Yeah, that's a good one. Man, I caught him four times, technically. But little fish, aren't why people come to the north. So the next morning, we got on another boat, bright and early. This time, we were going out on Two Seasons King Fisher, and we headed out onto Great Slave Lake for a 39-mile run from Hay River northwest. So the Mackenzie River goes way down, eh? All the way to the uh, Beaufort Sea. We're not going to the Beaufort Sea, right? Oh, God, no. <laughs> like, I don't know, you got like seven days, man? <laughs> So, <laughs> where are we? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're at the uh, mouth of the Mackenzie River. OK. Uh, a little place called Wrigley Harbor. And it's guaranteed fish here? Guaranteed, buddy, yeah. Sweet. If not, you can throw me overboard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. First cast, first fish. And he wasn't kidding. In fact, for about an hour, it was almost like you could not put a lure in the water without getting a bite. And he's on the board. Going. Nice. And the northern pike, known by many around here as jackfish, seem to keep getting bigger. Come on. And bigger. Number two. Yeah. And <laughs> bigger. 11 pounder. Even our cameraman took a break from shooting and promptly topped my record.
which means it's go time. Yeah, go for a little swim. That's a big old fish. And just like that, an all-time personal best for heaviest fish I've ever caught anywhere. What are we reading? Yeah, 17 and a half, 18 pounds, 18 man. pounder. Beautiful fish. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> Not to be outdone, about 15 minutes later, Spence caught a monster of his own. Might be the last video you have of all my fingers. So let's get them all for posterity. <laughs> let's get a number on this right away. 21. Nice. With that, we'd figure we'd call it a day and head home. So, I mean, you came all this way up north. You might as well drive a boat on the Great Slave Lake, right? Yeah, buddy. Take her, man. I was gonna do it one way or the other. <laughs> it was happening, yeah. <laughs> oh, you had the cushy seat. Oh, yeah, air ride, buddy. Oh, <laughs> get this down. Great Slave Lake is the deepest on the continent and one of the largest. And other than a few communities, it's virtually untouched, pristine wilderness. You can't end without a toast. <laughs> I don't know how you boys do it in the territories, but down south, we don't drink them both. Oh, well. Come on. I love some of the purest water. Really? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm game. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Thanks. Not too bad, eh? Better than bottled water. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Go to PowerboatTV.com. We have some Hay River water for sale. $12 <laughs> a bottle. Oh, yeah. You got any bottles? <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll get some. Sweet. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, man. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks for coming See out. See you next week. Cheers, guys.